Hi friends, it is Kayla May. Um, this is May. time for another virtual art lesson. Um, this week we are going to be looking at Henry Matisse, who is an artist who is from the early 1900s. And um, he, actually really cool story. He started out as a painter, a traditional painter. Um, he did some really cool works like this. But also as he got older, his eyes started to go bad and he eventually um, lost all of his eyesight. And so he's most famously known for his cutouts of paper of um, different paper. Excuse my little person in the background there. Um, <laughs> we are housing my um, sister's dog, uh, Daisy May, and um, along with our big chocolate lab as well. Um, and Daisy May belongs to my youngest sister, Elizabeth, who is um, an ERPA. So she um, is off, you know, doing her thing, saving lives down um, in Georgia right now. Um, with this whole craziness um, and so we get to keep her dog and her dog's great so we are going to use um, Henry Matisse inspired fish bowls here and we are going to do our own drawing our own Henry um, Matisse inspired drawing the fish um, and we're also going to incorporate some of his fun cutouts in the background All right so you guys are going to need paper I've got computer paper here um, any 8 by 10, um, 8 by 11 sheet of paper is fine. Um, you can use crayons as I did here. You can use crayons. Or you can use markers, you can use colored pencils, or you can just leave it black and white and just do the drawing. Whatever makes you happy, whatever is um, accessible for you. All right, so let's see if I can figure this out. If I can bring it down. I don't know. Maybe. Got this new thing and it's, bear with me. See how dirty my house is. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. So I'm going to move this over here. So the first thing we're going to do, friends, is we actually are going to draw our fishbowl. Okay. So when we are drawing our fishbowl, we're going to start with a oval about the middle of the paper. Okay. And then we're going to draw the sides of it, which is just two long lines like that. And then we're going to make another line that goes like that. Now, I think I want this to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to come down here. Like this. I'm going to make it like that. Okay, it's because I have to have something for the bowl for the fish to be in. Okay. And then we're going to draw our fishies. Now our fishies are really easy to draw. So we're just going to draw, start with the line that way. Go down. Go around like that okay so that's one fish I'm having three fish in mine but of course you guys could have ten of course you could have two of course you could have just one if you wanted if you wanted it's totally this is your art we're just inspired by Matisse it doesn't mean it has to look exactly like it so I'm adding three here and then I'm gonna add some little fins if you would okay um, and uh, the more I look at mine I think it needs to be a little bit more rounded around the sides here. So I'm gonna fix it, but if you've already drawn yours and you like it, keep it the way it is. Up here. Like I said, it's always best to draw lightly so you can erase your mistakes or the lines that you don't want. Ah, uh, yeah, that's much better. Okay, now we're going to draw our stool for which the, um, the fish bowl's on, okay? And it can be a little tricky, but we can do it. So we're gonna start out again with a line, a curved line like that. And then it's gonna come up and around your fish. Okay. All right, and then it's gonna have another line that's gonna come around like this. We need for it to look like kind of 3D. And it's gonna come up like that. And like that, okay? I'm gonna erase all this extra lines right here. All right, and I may even, it's a little crooked. Yeah, I'm gonna make mine a little bit shorter. I guess I'm gonna make my circle here a little bit tighter to the bowl. And then we're gonna make this line. Okay. 
There we go, that's better. And then we're gonna make them all round like this. That. Okay, so now we have our top of our table. Then we're gonna add our legs to our table and they are just rectangles, okay? So we're gonna draw one like rectangle like that and then that way. Then we're gonna draw another leg rectangle like this. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this leg, another rectangle like that, okay? Right, and that's not gonna be on the diagonal because it's looking directly at us, all right? So now we're gonna draw, we're gonna come back to this leg right here, and we're gonna draw another line on the diagonal, and then we're gonna draw one that meets it, okay? So now it looks three-dimensional. We're gonna come down here, and we're gonna go up like this, okay? So we do the same thing, just opposite. Now it looks 3D. All right, and then we're going to, we don't have to do anything on the middle one because we're looking at it straight on, all right? So there's your fish bowl and on the table. All right, the next thing we get to do is we get to add some fun backgrounds. Um, we're just going to divide this space into squares and rectangles. Does not have to be perfect by any means. So it's just totally random. As if, if we were going to cut our background out of construction paper um, and then put our bowl of, of fish on it. Okay. Right, and then because we know that Matisse used um, paper cuts, we are gonna go ahead and just add some fun, totally organic shapes. Now organic shapes means that they are not they don't have a perfect straight side, such as a rectangle or, or um, a triangle. But you can add triangles or hexagon, whatever you want. But Matisse, most of his stuff was very organic. So it has kind of these amoeba-like shapes. Okay. And then we have this curly Q right here. All right, and then maybe we will do a little swirly line here. Or maybe we'll make a circle here. Now, all of your squares don't have to have a shape in them by any means. Um, it's just totally up to you and how you're feeling. So maybe you decide that you want to have two of them went that way and then okay so there we have our basic outline of our Henry Matisse inspired um, fishbowl okay so we're gonna go ahead and color this now you guys can use crayons or you can use markers in my example that I did I used um, I use crayons so you can see what I did. I made sure to pressure, put a lot of pressure on it and, and color it really hard so that made the colors pop out more. Um, of course, you can color it lightly if you want to. I'm gonna use my markers for um, time purposes here um, just because I don't want you guys to have to be looking at the screen forever. Let's see here. Uh, and then I'm gonna pull out some blues and some oranges. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the, um, the fish bowl. So I'm going to color in my goldfish orange. Now your fish don't have to be orange. They could be purple, they could be green. Um, I wouldn't advise for them to be blue because your water's blue, because water tends to be blue. Um, but again, if you wanna have blue fish, you can have blue fish. I have my fish there. Now I'm going to come in with, I think I want to do a light blue. And I'm going to color very carefully. I'm going to color around, around my fish.
but this is the time to make sure you're taking your time. You're not trying to rush through it. Because if you rush through it, then you'll find yourself wanting to do it again because you make a mistake, so. Also friends, if you are using a marker, it's real important for you guys to go all in one direction. That way um, the viewer, the person who's gonna look at your art, will see that, oh, the water goes in all, you know, uh, left to right, not, or up and down, it's not gonna um, confuse it. So now I'm switching to a different blue here. It's gonna be a little bit darker up top. And again, I'm twitching back and forth, but all the same motion here. And then I'm gonna come right here, go in here, um, outline it a little bit. Make it really stand out. Okay, so there, there is your fish bowl. Now let's move on to our table. Okay, so I've got two browns. And if you were using a, a, mark, a crown set like this, you should have two browns in there too. Um, I'm going to start with the lightest brown first. And I'm going to make that the top of my table. take my darker brown and that's going to be the size of my table okay and then we're going to come in here and we're going to do the same Thing with our legs. So I'm going to grab my black real quick, and if you have a black in your um, crayon box, you can do that with this too, or a color pencil, whatever you're using. You should have a black in there. And I'm going to come in here, I'm actually going to outline my lines here because you, especially on these bottom legs, you start to lose the 3D effect of it. Okay. And while I'm here, I might as well just do it here too. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm gonna leave my my fish bowl the way it is because um, I kind of like it, and I think that the blue kind of stands out um, without having to do the black. Okay. So now comes the fun part. We can start coloring in your background. Um, Matisse loved to use very bright, fun colors, um, so we're going to do that too. And it's a rainbow of sorts, so you guys can color it however which way you want to. Um, because I like a sort of somewhat of a pattern, because um, that's his way of nice, I'm probably going to end up doing, if I color one shape up here, I'm going to end up doing that complementary color, because um, I like for things to look semi together. So I'm going to start with green up here, and the background for that is going to be a red or a pink because they're complementary colors. And while though I have my green, I'm also going to come down here, and I am going to color in that circle, and then I'm also going to come back over here, 
Then I'm going to color around this kind of amoeba shape right here. So those shapes I'm going to do. Now I'm going to pick up, uh, I'm going to do this kind of pinky kind of orange. But again, you guys can do whatever kind of color you like to work with. And I'm just going to color around these crazy shapes, organic. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna take, I think I wanna do like a lighter pink um, down here. And then I'm going to come over here, I'm going to color it in the space. Here. And I'll do it. Let's say the space comes all the way. So there we go. Um, let's move on to some blues. Now I'm gonna keep make sure I keep my blues. They're gonna be um, towards the top of the picture and not towards the bottom, just because keep it away from that um, that fishbowl. So. color of blue is orange, but I think I'm going to go with this lighter orange here. Here's this purpley pink right here. And maybe we'll come in here and we will color in this guy right here. Okay. And then maybe I'll come down here and color these guys. Excuse me, with Eleanor over there making all kinds of noise. She's making all kinds of noise back there, isn't she? Sorry about that, friends. Um, and then the complementary color of purple is um, yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and color around. Now, like I said, friends, you guys can color your pictures however you want. This is just what I'm feeling like doing right now. And I like for my artwork to tend to be able to address some of my art educators' objectives, such as learning complementary colors and shapes and patterns. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my green again. 
And I'm gonna do green and purple. Now green and purple are not necessarily complementary colors. They are um, the cold color family. So they still go together. So. Okay, so there's that purple. Um, and then I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna color this section purple as well. Eleanor? Yes? Can you please stop doing that while I'm filming my video? I was, I was trying Please? To... Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that, friend. I was trying to put this thing in there so I have more room. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Eleanor. To make it, to make it less heavy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and color this part in too. You understand? I understand. I'm... Remember though, I'm gonna take this video, I'm gonna put it online so everybody can see. So you wanna make sure that you're not arguing with me. Ooh, that rhymes. Correct? Cool. Okay, so then we come in here with the screen. Okay, and then we're gonna come back over here with the green. And it's okay if the greens are next to each other, it's not a big deal. Eleanor Lee, I can't talk to you right now, baby. I'm doing this. I'm filming my my video. Okay, we can talk after I'm finished. Okay. Okay. All right. The next set of colors, maybe I will do. Oh, let's do these. That colors right here. Okay. I'm gonna make it this limey green. Again, friends, you can color it any which way. If you want to have all rainbow, make it all rainbow. It don't matter. No. Yep. So we had to take away the, the glass container that Eleanor can now use <laughs> for his avoided the drama that we could have with that. Okay, and I only got a few more left to color down here. I'm gonna go ahead and color this guy pink since that's what I have in my hand. Um, maybe I'll pull out. I kind of like that blue. Um, pull out a green again, but it's a different color green. color and then here is this kind of light blue all right and we're gonna come in here Hey there. 
there you have it friends uh henry and henry matisse inspired um fish bowl painting here's one in markers here's one in crayons and here is what the original one is so it's a little, it's a little bit different but it's still super fun and super easy um you guys can do it in pencil or crayon or colored pencil whatever kind of coloring um tools you have you can also leave it in black and white um the point is just to have some fun and draw some really fun organic shapes um and yes that's it i hope you guys have a great week and i will catch you next time thanks